Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you're doing well. And before we begin with the cards, I just want to give a big thank you to all of your support, all of you who have sent beautiful comments and just all of the support and love that I received since I started the channel, since this channel really started to grow. I am extremely grateful for all of you. And um, I couldn't do it without you. Uh, and the reason I'm doing what it is that I'm doing here is because this journey of awakening, it is not easy and it is not for the faint of heart. I know, I've, I'm on it too. <laughs> and so what, if I'm able to tap in and receive messages of guidance and maybe tap into areas that are in blind spots or just confirm messages that you're already receiving yourself. Um, and that assistance, it, I know how much that means because I know how much that has meant for me. It means for me as well. It, any little bit of help that we can get on this journey um, is, is, uh, a lot. So I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And we're going to get started on your reading. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Virgo. We're in some really big energy, um, very uh, magnified energy. As well as being invited into our own underworld, so to speak, into our own deep inner psyche as Venus is moving in through the underworld, leaving the night sky. She's already left view of the night sky, moving between the sun and the earth, and she will reemerge on the 21st of August as a morning star. But as we go through this journey with Venus, we are invited to uh, retrieve parts of ourselves that we have left behind, left behind in childhood, left behind within relationships that have caused us pain, left behind through trauma, through uh, addictions. Well, addictions are really just symptoms of trauma and abuse that were unresolved. Um, and at the same time, we are also, as we retrieve self-love for ourselves, um, we are able to strip away the falseness, the masks that we wear, um, that we've developed over time for our security in order for us to survive this journey before we were fully awakened. And we're always being awakened and enlightened to more. And it will continue. We're always cycling around and repeating things and learning more and more about ourselves, growing and evolving. But the main point of this energy is to gain self-love. Um, and the ego will always say, I do love myself. But there's always something that we are holding back from ourselves. And so with this, this time, as Venus takes her journey through the underworld, we are being invited as well to go through our own underworld. I did an entire video on this. It's a very short video, but if you feel called to check it out, I believe it's titled, Why is it so hard to love ourselves? Venus into the underworld. Something like that. I just um, uploaded it yesterday. So, okay, let's get started for your reading, Virgo, for sun, moon, or rising. What are the messages for Virgo, please? Okay. Overall, at the bottom, we have fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And believe it or not, many people do fear truly opening their heart and living in the energy of love because of how we have been so painfully hurt in our past. We have forgiveness, we have regret, and we have gratitude. 
So Virgo, it seems as though you are going through quite a metamorphosis within yourself and um, realizing that um, harboring resentments towards those who had hurt you or harmed you in the past is blocking your flow of love. And it's important to forgive, release, uh, it's not forgiving the actual deed, whatever had been done to you, but uh, the ability to let it go so that your heart can open and fl love can flow through. We have regrets. I know that I cannot change the past. A lot of times, and I mentioned this in the video before, those ego um, personas that we develop and build uh, through our lifetime in order to um, survive our pain, our trauma, our abuses, um, are a lot of times taken on by those who actually abused us, as well as by those who had turned a blind eye to us being abused when we were children. So maybe the realization of some of your actions and reactions and the way that you um, treated others or, or mistreated others or turned a blind eye to certain things is now becoming a realization and there's regret. But don't hold on to the regret because that will be another form of self-sabotage that will end up pulling you down. We cannot change the past. The past is the past. It happened. But what we can do is gain wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and compassion from our past experiences and gratitude for all that we have uh, experienced, endured, learned, and for all that we have that is um, beautiful. If you have clean water and fresh air to breathe, if you have a roof over your house, over your house, over your head, <laughs> food in your belly, um, these are things to be gra grateful for. If there is love, uh, if people are, people are giving you their energy of love, be grateful for that. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Overall message is fear. Realizing that you've been testing your resolve to live in the energy of love. There's definitely been a, a close heart chakra um, out of fear. Out of fear of being hurt, being taken advantage of. Okay. What else do we have for Virgo? Vulnerability is, very, is a very fearful thing for many. Most of us. To be completely true and transparent and live from the heart is a very vulnerable state, it seems as though. But that actually is the most powerful energy in the cosmos. It's just that when we were young and innocent and just loving, we had been also traumatized. And a lot of times that, that abuse or trauma from either the abuser or those who turned a blind eye to our abuse uh, use their own guilt and shame and place blame on us. So we carry their stuff. And this is what we're at being asked to retrieve our own soul parts and release what we have taken on and carried with us for our lifetime for many. Prosperity begins. There's a new start here, Virgo, a fresh new start available for you, the opportunity, the seeds have been planted, the seeds of your desire, the seeds of your soul's desire, and it is beginning to sprout, and it is a two hands that are working together. It's important to open yourself up to allowing somebody else into your heart fully so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. There's some peaches floating around there. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Labor of love. And unite, connect to another. There's butterflies also. Butterflies of the symbol of transformation from the caterpillar to the butterfly. Okay, released, 
release regret from the past. There is positive movement forward here for you. You are moving forward in a more positive um, motion towards the sun, towards your life force energy, your vitality. Through the seas of emotion. It's a very humbling time for many of us as well. Humbling because we are finally surrendering a good part of our ego persona. And the regret is um, allowing the ego that those parts that we've developed that aren't even really, they're not ours, they are archetypes. Basically, this is what came to me this morning within my family pattern, these archetypes that are passed down to us and we receive them without even knowing and we take on these roles and we play these certain roles and those roles are meant to be, we're, we're, we're here to actually break those chains so that those roles no longer are playing a part here. We have the heart chakra, we have choose wisely and we have hope. All fell below gratitude in my heart. I'm feeling it, Virgo. Whatever's going on, it actually, there's a pain in my heart right now. No joke. Whatever's going on with you, your heart chakra is opening up. Don't close it. I feel like there's pain there and you're trying to run from it or um, you're being faced with a choice right now to keep the heart open or to guard it and shut it back down again. Um, keep it open. Hold that hope that there are there is a bright new future for you here. Walking with your heart wide open. There is great wisdom here to be learned and to be gained. I feel like you are gaining that right now. Through the fear. Through the fear of opening the heart. There's a, there is a great fear. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Prince of Wands. Oh, again, overcoming your fears. Overcoming a lot. This There's great strength here. Ready to move forward with um, dignity. Conviction even. Um, forgiving. Forgiving the past. Stop blocking the flow of love, Virgo. Leo energy there. Venus is in Leo in retrograde, going into the underworld. We have a, and the sun's in Leo. Bear with me, Virgo. I'm getting a lot of physical sensations in your <clears throat> reading. Throat chakra, heart chakra. Mm. <clears throat> There could be <clears throat> things left unsaid because the heart was closed down because of great fear. If I open up this box, this Pandora bo Pandora's box of my true feelings, my true emotions, my love, my heart, um, what if I get hurt? What if I get hurt all over again? I can't take the pain. I can't, I can't tolerate. I can't take the pain. I can't take the pain. Very specific message, so take what resonates for you. Very, <laughs> very physical message <clears throat> as well. Four of Pentacles. Fell out in reverse, but um, for all intents and purposes here, you're holding on to the past, holding on to regret, and not blocking this positive movement forward. So release, let go, let go Virgo. You cannot change the past, okay? Forgive yourself and others and move forward positively. You can always start in any present moment, any present now moment, in any day of the week, any hour of the day of the week, you can begin again. This is your chance, but we've got to let go. Let go of the past. <clears throat> Virgo, 
here. Before I did your reading, I had to really sit down with um, the guides. And really reconnect with them. Part of my own journey. Sometimes I can meticulously keep doing readings over and over and over again. And my masculine energy is like, let's just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. And my body and my inner guidance is like, take a break. Do something else. Um, so I was sitting with that for a bit myself. And it was reflecting in my readings. You have surrendered. There is something that you're surrendering as far as the mind. So this is falling under gratitude again. But choose wisely. Don't let the mind take over. Whatever's still going on in the mind that is telling you that it is unsafe that it is a bad idea, surrender, let go. There's a lot of pain here too. Surrender the pain. Allow yourself to flow through the pain, to learn from it, to gain the wisdom and the strength that you needed. Overall, Eight of Cups, there's a lot of sadness, remorse, regret, again. Feeling like all is lost. And all is not lost. That is your perception. And if you keep telling yourself the same story over and over and over again, that's what you continue to recreate. All is not lost, Virgo. This is what you want to let go of. Let go. Give yourself that love first and foremost. Strength below that. Death below that. Give yourself this love so that you can move forward positively. You have the strength to overcome Whatever it is that keeps telling you you're not good enough. You're good enough, Virgo. You're going through a transformation right now. A great change. A death and a rebirth. And this is that Venus in the underworld. Venus traveling in her inferior conjunction between the sun and the earth is a death and rebirth process. And we are all emotionally taking that journey with her. Unless we get in our own way. It looks as though you are doing that journey with her as well, which is beautiful. We all are, myself included. All right, we're going to get one more message for you, Virgo, to wrap this up from the uh, Starseed Oracle. And if you are liking this message so far, please um, remember to click the like button, the thumbs up button below the video. I greatly appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that. Feel free to comment. I'd love to read all of your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This helps with the algorithms within YouTube. It helps with the channel's growth. And I appreciate every single one of you who take the time to do these things. It truly does help. So thank you. All right. Last message for Virgo, please. We have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. You may be getting some, um, you may be getting some energetic activations at this time, which may feel a little out otherworldly. <laughs> Let's read it from the book. <clears throat> the stars are constantly showering emanations onto the crystalline grid of Earth. When things are in balance, the planet also sends information back up to the stars. Many star seeds have come to Earth at this time to help shift the planet vibrationally, to activate the ancient codes of wisdom that humanity has forgotten. And all of that information is stored in the crystalline grid. If you pull this card, you may be called to begin working with the stars and the crystalline grid of Earth. 
Some people believe that the crystalline grid of Earth anchors divine cosmic frequencies onto the planet. You may be guided to a journey to particular places on Earth to unlock these cosmic codes with your presence. You may also be interested in a practice called star bathing. This card commonly arises because you're here to connect with the crystalline grid of Earth either in your hometown or by traveling to other places without quite knowing why. It can also mean that your light body, the energy body in its highest form, is being activated. If this resonates, take things extra slow in order to integrate this change of vibration. So yeah, when we get activated energetically by other energies that surround the earth and the stars and the grids, the energy grids, it can really um, be otherworldly and it can send waves of different sensations through the body, but it is really waking you up basically in activating your true nature, your true star nature. Um, so take it easy on yourself if you are going through some of these um, activations at this time. You may be also um, getting a, a lot more of your psychic senses coming online and telepathic communications coming online. Your dreams may be very vivid at this time. Um, so drink lots of water, take good care of your health and your body and get as much rest as you can. I hope that you find this helpful for yourself, Virgo, and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.